And now for today's Bible question. Today we have learned how Jesus proves to be wiser than all those who tried to oppose him. We saw how he used a parable to show their wicked intent to destroy him. And we saw how the many questions posed to him were answered wisely and how no one was able to answer his question. We also saw how the humble and the poor give more to God than even the rich and proud. Someone might ask the question, how can a person love the Lord their God with all their heart, soul, mind and strength? When Jesus was asked what was the greatest commandment of all, he replied that it was to love the Lord with all your heart, soul, mind and strength. As we think about this, we realize that this is a rather challenging thing for us to do. What did Jesus really mean when he said these words? Let's think about what it means to love God in the ways Jesus describes. Firstly, we're to love God with our hearts. The heart is the center of our being, our passions, our emotions. It is that which drives our desires and transmits love. When we love God with all our hearts, we will love the things that God loves and God loves his people and sent Christ to die for us. Now if we also love God's people, we will find ways to serve them and also bring people to the Lord. This is how we can love the Lord with all of our hearts. Secondly, we are to love him with all of our soul. Our soul is what defines our character, will and our spirit. Our soul is what makes us who we are apart from our physical body. If I love God with all my soul, it will mean that everything about who I am will be for the pleasure of God. I will give him my will and conform my character to his perfect character. I will strive for all that he is striving to accomplish. If I love God with all my mind, then I will apply my mind to learning his thoughts by studying the scriptures carefully. We often give our minds attention to other trivial pursuits like TV programs and movies which do not teach us about God's will or his ways. If we are to love him with all of our minds, then we have to give up on all the wasted time pursuing other vain and unprofitable things. Lastly, if we are to love God with all of our strength, it means we must apply all of our energies and interest into the pursuit of God and those things that are pleasing to Him. This means we will not give our God our part-time or half-hearted efforts, but when we do something in service for God, we will give Him our very best according to the abilities which He gives to us. When we pray, we will pray fervently. When we witness, we will passionately tell others the gospel message, and we will give generously, just as God gives to us generously. Yes, to love God is a very high calling, but it is the first and greatest commandment, and so we all must take it very seriously and strive to obey the words of Jesus to love our God. If it seems difficult to love God to such a great amount, then think of the second commandment, which is to love your neighbor as yourself. If you start there, you can think of ways to bless your neighbor and share the love of Christ with them, for then you will also be learning how to love God. For when we love our neighbors, we are also showing our love to God. Remember that in the scriptures, love for God is almost always equated with our obedience to the scriptures. Therefore, to take time to learn the word of God very well and then obey what we learn is the way we show our genuine love for God. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. Mark chapter 12 verse 30.